Heidi Ho, guess where I'm going? Kind of a last minute decision to go to the US of A. And I am going with my daughter and we decided to stay overnight. Have a little fun girls night or weekend. Tattered tulip, here I come. I even wore my runners. And if you know me, you know I don't wear runners. <laughs> I stayed in the States overnight and I did all the driving and the shopping and then I came home and I had to clean up again so I look like a hot mess <laughs> no makeup what else it's who cares so I thought I would show you some of the things that I got and I went to a new store called the tattered tulip which was a recommendation of a youtuber called mother time and thanks so much for telling me about this store because I spent all my money in it but it was the most beautiful like decor and floral greenery the cutest and reasonably priced and I wish they had them in Canada but then again I might be in the poorhouse which I probably will be soon so I bought a lot of um, what do you call them not branches, but greenery and florals, just to add to my vases and a couple of things, you know, like some decor pieces, not much. And I have so much, as you know, and I got a few things in Target and I'm gonna show it to you. I think I need a coffee first. So these things I got at Target, I saw this online and I really liked it. Like I have a lot of white um, jugs, but this one had a really nice shape. 
And I think it's by threshold, I'm not sure. Yep, threshold. Oh God, it's heavy. I just like the shape of it with the spout. And you know, I always see the YouTubers um, with these little lamps. I thought it was kind of outdated at one time, but you know, I started thinking about it and it's hard to find these little tiny ones. Maybe I'll put it in the corner. So it's sort of like a night light. And it's from Threshold, and I thought it was a cute one. They had many different ones, it was like $12. Okay. Then I ran out of this. This is by Hearth and Home, Hearth and Hand, sorry. And it's white magnolia, and this smell is zest. And it's, it is very nice. I've used it before, and I ran out of it. And then I thought, why not? I always see this on different people's channels and they look so cute beside the stove. And they were so inexpensive. They were $5.99 each, so this one's for pepper. And that one's for salt and you stack them. Like the connoisseur that I am, not. So I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this dough bowl, smaller version of a dough, sort of a dough bowl, at TJ Maxx and it was on sale for $8. Um, me and my daughter both bought one. I'm used to buying Mrs. Myers, and I order them online, but I thought I'd give this Everspring a try from Target. Um, the scents that I like, they never have, from Mrs. Myers, they never have in stock, so I got these. And one is Mandarin Ginger, one is Lemon Mint, one is Citrus Basil, and I decided to buy a window cleaner and Lemon Mint as well. My daughter says uh, she won't be able to come over anymore because my house will be so crowded and it will look like Jumanji, like a jungle, and she won't be able to find me. So here goes. I'm going to show you the, the items, the decor items that I got first. This cute little sign. You make me happy when skies are gray. I just love this distressed look. I had um, asked, no, who was it? I had emailed a YouTuber. I uh, can't remember the name. And I asked where she got these gorgeous little signs and she said a friend of hers made them in some kind of gift shop she owned. But I found them at the Tattered Tulip. There was only a couple. There was only this one and another one. I wish there had been bigger ones. I would have bought them. I could always make them, I guess. Anyway, I thought that was a cute sign. That one was 15. I debated over these bookends. Aren't they gorgeous? They had another set that were like double in price. And these ones were, oh. $18.95 and you know what where are you gonna find these they are so hard to come by and if you do get them they're like a fortune so I got two of them and I'm not sure what to do with them yet I almost returned them and then I thought no you're gonna cry when you get home if you don't have them I will find a place I will find a place even if it's decor it doesn't always have... I eyed these candlesticks they're so lightweight they're not real um, like they're not wrought iron but they are something. They are some kind of a metal. And look at the price of this, $10.95. Okay, and this one was $9.95, the smaller version. And you know how I love that white distressed look. Okay, it's really hard hanging baskets. In Canada, there is none that I see. And the States hardly had any as well, only in this store. And I found the cutest little one to put on one of my you know, my hooks in my coffee station or my credenza. And you can leave it empty or you can add some little flowers. Oh my God, I was overwhelmed. It was so beautiful in there. As you as you will see my videos, then I've been looking for a bird's nest. I mean, I could have gone out in the forest and kind of found one with some little mites in them, but I decided to splurge and spend $13 instead. And I love these little bird nests through spring and Easter. Then, because I don't knit anymore, I decided to buy one of these as decor. I'm not going to use it. And it was $6.95 and I have a knit to hang as well on one of my um, cup hooks. Okay, so now we're going to go with the basket for the front hole to hang up. In the summertime, there won't be any coats hanging on my hooks. In the winter, it's disaster, but in the summer, 
spread in some of those no coats. Now, do I want this to hang up? And hopefully it looks good. I've got one of these swags to put inside, and I'm going to add some flowers. I chose these ones. I have some other ones that I can add to it. Look how cute they wrap everything. It's not a, a nice little touch. They wrap it and put a little twine around it. So this will look good together, because they sort of hang a bit. Okay, so that's that. Now, I went crazy. Look at these cute little wreaths. They're so, such good quality and so beautiful, and they were like 95 each. So I bought three, because they're good to put into um, under, like you put a candle on it, or you can hang it up somewhere. You could put it on one of the little hooks. It's gonna look like a store in here, that's for sure. And then I got some plain ones. They're plastic, but they look pretty real. But they look good. These were, these were 4 dollars Okay, so the name of the game is Tulip. And they have the most gorgeous tulips in that store. Of course, these are the boring ones. They're the white ones. They had like a beautiful peach, coral color, and pink. Beautiful. But I decided to go with white. And look at how they hang. Like, they're so nice. And they're plastic. They're like a rubber. Not really a plastic. So like a rubbery look. And then uh, these sprigs. These were $4.95. Some sprigs of these flowers because they, they almost look like baby's breath, but they're not. You can always use them somewhere. And I went back the next day and I got more. So these are, these ones are a bit different, I think. And then I got these saggy ones again. They all look kind of like baby's breath. Here, here's one that looks like baby's breath. I love the look of baby's breath. I don't like big, big flowers everywhere other than a tulip. And I like a hydrangea. Those are my two favorite flowers. And if you can see over there in the basket, those are hydrangeas, but they're very, it's almost like they're just starting to bloom. And I love that look and I might go buy some more. In the States, believe it or not, they cost more than they do here. Okay, so what else did I get at the Tatter Tulip? I spent a fortune, I think I spent, well, not a fortune, I spent about, I don't know, about 260 in there, but it was worth it because that is the most gorgeous store I've ever been to. Like I could, I could stay there for hours and hours and hours. And the lady on Mother Time said that her and her mom go there at Christmas and spend the day there. It's so beautiful. So I was waiting for my daughter as she was in Alta, and I went to the Christmas shop next door. And I don't really like it. It's a junk store to me. But they have some cute pieces if you, if you have time to browse. And I found this. It was twelve ninety five. The sign is okay, the, the writing is okay in it. It's just not what I need it for. So I'm going to scare a lot of you and I'm gonna paint over this whole underneath part and white. And then I'm going to add this sign in the middle. So it's like a bigger sign and I'm gonna place it on that wall over there that's been empty for a while. So that's my idea for that. I found this big basket here at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna put it in my front hall. I might distress it a bit because I'm not sure if I like that color. And then I found this humongous basket, really good sturdy quality at Burlington Coat Factory. I don't like that store. I just don't. But I do go in it and I find a few things and this was $9.99. You can't go wrong. That's where I found my dough bowl for $14 last last year. It's on the search for baby's breath. I had emailed, um, I think it was Mother Time or maybe it was Becca on Adventures in Decorating and I asked where, oh no it wasn't, it was it was a lady on, on Instagram, Martin Manor, who is absolutely unbelievable. Her home is breathtaking. And she had a big bowl uh, jug of baby's breath and I asked her where she got it and she told me Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby and they didn't have a sale on and they were quite expensive. So I passed and I went over to Joanne's and lo and behold, I found them. They look the same and they was um, one, you buy one stem and you get one free. So I bought a bunch of them. And as my travels in Walmart, I found a few stems of baby's breath and I'm gonna use them. I, I just love baby's breath. I love those wreaths that they make these days. I don't know if I have the energy to make one. And 
I could add some to this wreath anyway. So I found this wreath at Walmart for $11.88 and beautiful, really nice. I bought two and I'm, I hung one on my door feeding to the basement. I found this beautiful wreath for $19.99 at Burlington. Excuse the camera in the mirror. Anyway, have I shown you my new mirror? I'm absolutely in love with it. It is so beautiful. And I told you I was gonna change the sign that said cozy. And I had an old Easter, an old spring sign. I think I got it at Michael's years ago and I didn't like it. So I cut it off to fit this frame. And I just gave it a nice whitewash. It didn't cost me anything for a change. I haven't really done a lot yet for Easter and it's only two weeks away. I've been really slacking. So what I did before I went to the States, I decided to paint this front dresser that was black. Um, it was given to me years ago by a friend and I washed, I kind of painted it and then distressed it a bit and I love it. And it just makes the whole hallway feel brighter and lighter after this stupid thing. I do not like this table anymore. I want a wooden table. Can't find one that fits the size. So this one was black wrought iron. Like I said, I paid a fortune for it at Bowerings here in Canada about 20 years ago. And it was beautiful at the time and it's still not bad. It's not horrible. It's just not my style anymore. And what I did was I decided to paint it. So I painted it again and I distressed it a bit and I did the same to the mirror and it just lightens this whole area up and I'm, I'm not feeling so rushed to find a table now. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and I better stop spending money and start cleaning up and decorating a little bit for Easter and there's so much to do. I still have to buy some stuff for the grandkids. So if you have a chance to get to the Tatter Tulip in Niagara Falls, Boulevard or there's some in Buffalo that are close by you will absolutely love it and you're going to have to take your credit card with you or leave it at home anyway so I hope you enjoyed this um, spring greenery floral haul from the United States and we'll talk to you soon thanks for joining me bye for now